In a new round of price adjustments, Tesla increased the prices of Model 3 and Model Y by $1,000, while the Model Y is sold out in the United States for the rest of 2021. After presenting the new potentially revolutionary batteries to the public last month, Panasonic is preparing to mass-produce its 4680 cells next. Tesla bets on the new 4680-type cylindrical cell format, but according to Lucid's CEO Peter Rawlinson, it will not be this huge breakthrough. Trackers identified two ships heading from California to Asia and 10 en route from Shanghai to Europe. Hello guys and welcome back to Technopole where we bring you the newest and best updates about Tesla, Elon Musk, and of course the EV industry. For new videos please consider subscribing to our channel and smash the bell button to receive all notifications. Tesla has increased the price of Model 3 and Model Y by $1,000 in a new round of price adjustments. The company also updated the free paint options for its two best-selling cars. With the most recent round of price increases, Model 3 RWD previously known as Model 3 Standard Range Plus, now costs $44,990 without options. Model 3 Long Range and Model 3 Performance are now priced at $50,990 and $58,990 without options. On the Model Y side, the price of the long-range variant has also increased by $1,000, and the price of the car is now $57,990 with no options. Finally, the current price of Model Y performance is $62,990 before options. The price increase of Model 3 and Model Y indicates that Tesla may still face supply challenges. At the 2021 annual general meeting of shareholders, Elon Musk explained that price increases are caused by supply chain challenges that affect many industries. Our goal really is to make the cars as affordable as possible. We are seeing significant cost pressure in our supply chain, and so we had to increase, at least temporarily, said Elon Musk. But we do hope to actually reduce the prices over time and make them more affordable. He mentioned that only flying parts around the world are costly for Tesla. In the third quarter earnings conference call, Tesla chief financial officer Zach Kirkhorn said that moving parts and purchased parts have led to an increase in service demand. There may have been some demand for service during 2020 or in the early parts of 2021 that customers put off. And so there's a bit of a catch-up that's occurring, Kirkhorn said, that has increased demand for service. At the same time, in the macro environment here, logistics, moving parts, sourcing parts has become increasingly more difficult, which is a well-known issue in the world right now, as well as challenges in the labor market. In addition to the $1,000 price increase, Tesla has added another free color option. Now, Model 3 and Model Y reservation holders can choose midnight silver metallic or pearl white multicoat as free color options. The new free color options show Elon Musk's ability to quickly implement changes at Tesla. Musk first talked about changing Tesla's free color options last month. A Tesla owner suggested changing the default free colors because there are already too many white Model 3 and Model Y on the road. Later that month, the source code of the Tesla app revealed three color options for Giga Berlin. The three color options for Giga Berlin are Deep Crimson Multicoat, Abyss Blue Multicoat, and Mercury Silver Metallic. The silver paint color may be a free choice for Giga Berlin bookers. Tesla may have been inspired by this and chose Midnight Silver Metallic as a free color choice in North America. Giga Shanghai's free paint option is pure black. On the other hand, Tesla Model Y sold out in the United States for the rest of 2021, indicating strong demand for all electric crossovers. A quick search on Tesla's US order page shows that the estimated delivery date for Model Y performance is now January 2022. The expected delivery date of Model Y long range is even later, that is June 2022. Tesla hopes to make Model Y the best-selling car of any type in the world by next year or 2023. As we've mentioned before, we've seen record growth of both Model 3 and Model Y segments, where Model 3 is currently the best-selling luxury sedan worldwide. And as we mentioned at our shareholders meeting, Model Y is poised to be the best-selling vehicle in the world, said Lars Moravi. Tesla's vice president of vehicle engineering at the last earnings call. Tesla Giga Texas and Giga Berlin are expected to contribute significantly to the company's Model Y goals. The two new Tesla data factories are expected to start operating Model Y production lines. Tesla's goal is to produce Model Y cars equipped with structural battery packs and 4680 batteries in Giga Texas and Giga Berlin.
after showing the public last month a potentially new battery. Panasonic is preparing to mass-produce its 4680 battery next. The 4680 battery is critical to Tesla's plan to become a legitimate mass manufacturer of high-quality electric vehicles. In terms of product development, the technological goals have largely been achieved. The new batteries have roughly five times the capacity of the 2170s currently in use, but mass-producing them requires new techniques, Kazuo Tadanabu, the CEO of Panasonic's new energy company, recently told Nikkei Asia. Tesla has been improving the production of the 4680 in trial production on Kato Road near the Fremont factory. Based on some updates related to the 4680 battery, the company seems to have made significant progress recently. For example, in September, Tesla launched the recruitment plan for its 4680 trial production line, implying that production capacity will increase. Battery production equipment has also recently arrived in Gata, Texas. Tesla seems to have installed some machines for the battery production facility in Gata, Texas. The company's goal is to produce 100 gigawatt hour worth of batteries in Gata, Texas by the end of 2022. According to Panasonic, Tesla's 4680 batteries have proven that they have five times the capacity of the smaller models. The Japanese battery manufacturer plans to start trial production of 4680 batteries in Japan by March 2022. We are currently building a prototype production line in Japan that will come online in stages. We will conduct trials toward mass production and hone the process in Japan until it can be deployed quickly, Tadanabu elaborated. The CEO pointed out that Panasonic has been discussing the production of 4680 batteries with Tesla since before the pandemic. We are working on the new battery at Tesla's request, and we assume we will be doing business with the company," added Tadanabu. The CEO also pointed out that the company does not rule out battery partnerships with other electric car manufacturers. However, he emphasized that Tesla is its top priority. On the other hand, Lucid CEO Peter Rawlinson recently shared his views on the electric vehicle industry, the range battle, and rival Tesla's efforts to develop and produce its own 4680 battery. The CEO said that there may be some surprising trends in the range of electric vehicles in the distant future, and Tesla's 4680 battery may not have as big a breakthrough as originally expected. Rawlinson's recent comments were shared in an extensive interview with IEEE Spectrum. As a company, it is well known that Lucid worked very hard to maximize the range of its vehicles. Its first car, the Air Sedan, became the first electric car to receive an EPA rating, which can travel more than 500 miles per charge. Using the same 2170 batteries that power vehicles such as the Tesla Model 3 and Rivian R1T, Lucid's six air sedan variants occupy the top six in the EPA range ranking. Lucid's CEO does not support simply using more batteries to extend the range, similar to companies such as General Motors using 350 miles of Hummer EV 200 kWh battery or Rivian seems to be doing something using about 400 miles of R1T's 180 kWh battery pack. According to IEEE, Rawlinson refers to this type of strategy as a dumb range. This was definitely something that Lucid avoided with the Air Sedan, as the vehicle is able to achieve its class-leading 131 mpge with a 118 kWh battery pack. Interestingly, Rawlinson believes that although there is a cruising range dispute in the field of electric vehicles today, this may not be the case in the future. As electric cars become more common and affordable, and as home charging becomes the norm, Lucid's CEO believes that electric cars in the future may actually be smaller. After 50 or 60 years, the range of electric vehicles may actually decrease. Psychologically, there won't be this sort of paranoia and dependence on a public supercharging network. And home charging is healthier for the battery in any way. The Lucent CEO said, Rawlinson doesn't seem to be particularly convinced that some recent battery breakthroughs are coming. Taking Tesla's 4680 battery as an example, Lucid's CEO pointed out that he saw the potential of this technology, but the upcoming battery looks more like a victory for packaging than a victory for chemistry, and its tightly packed jelly roll allows more active battery material compared to the castings around it. In the end, Rawlinson pointed out that the idea of using the 4680 battery as a huge breakthrough was fantasy. I do think there's an upside to going to large format that would reduce internal resistance, and that's a valuable step forward. But people are looking at 4680 as this huge breakthrough, and that's a fantasy, the Lucid CEO said. Time may prove or refute Rawlinson's recent views on the electric vehicle battery industry. For example, 
Batteries will only get better and better over time, so there may eventually be a point where even a very affordable electric car can have a range comparable to today's premium electric cars. Tesla's 4680 batteries can also prove to be a differentiated manufacturer in terms of manufacturing because these batteries are specifically designed to reduce costs. Ultimately, 4680 batteries may not necessarily be a panacea in the transformation of electric vehicles, but when they are combined with battery chemistry, dry electrode technology, structural battery concepts, and the use of large castings, they can become pillars for the next generation of mass market vehicles. They are likely to sweep the world. The next few years of Tesla's growth, which would be represented by the rise of vehicles like the Cybertruck and the Semi, would likely determine just how much potential the 4 to 6 80 cells really have. Continuing with the last update, there are several signs that Tesla will achieve record deliveries in the fourth quarter of this year, even though we only have one month. First of all, the company's two factories are very busy. A recent drone shot of Shanghai Gata factory shows that the number of brand new cars parked in its parking lot on October 28 a record 2,150 vehicles. Also, the factory's warehouse was crowded with car transporters waiting for vehicles. The front factory is also bustling with activity, with a video released a few days ago revealing a constant stream of car carriers, weeding in and out of the facility and holding lots filled with vehicles, including some brand new Model S and Model X units. Another sign of Tesla's fourth quarter record is the reported daily output of the Shanghai Data Factory. More than 1,600 Model Y crossovers and more than 2,000 Model 3 sedans. As we all know, the factory focused on the production of export cars in the first two months of a quarter. You can now add that Tesla's deliveries are increasing. As of November 3, at least 12 roll-on-roll-off ships are shipping automakers electric vehicles to Europe and Asia. Tesla's export ship tracker Tesla Carriers Map shows that these ships departed from San Francisco and Shanghai ports to various locations in Asia and Europe. Two of the ships left California for Taipei, Taiwan, while the other 10 ships were on their way from Shanghai to various ports in Europe, possibly loaded with Model 3 and Model Y vehicles. European destinations include Southampton UK, Zeebrug Belgium, and Koper Slovenia. On average, a car carrier can hold 3,000 cars, so we might see about 3 to 6,000 Teslas being shipped to customers, assuming that each ship is fully loaded and only carries Tesla electric cars. Tesla's deliveries are increasing every quarter. 184,400 vehicles in the first quarter, 201,250 vehicles in the second quarter, and 241,300 vehicles in the third quarter. The company delivered a total of 627,350 vehicles in the first three quarters of 2021, exceeding the 2020 figure. So that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave your comment in the section below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. There are many more future-focused tech videos coming soon, so until then stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video.